Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I was actually trying to reformat my NLP playlist because there were some mistakes and I had actually made those videos private. So now you'll be able to see the videos and if you want to actually see the link, the link will basically be given in the description of the NLP playlist itself. Right, now let us go ahead and try to understand the first thing that is called as stemming and limitization. And one, one important thing about natural language processing guys, over there all our input data will be in the form of text data, right? And we cannot just give our text data back to our model, you know, machine learning model and machine learning model will not understand what is that text data at all. So what we do is that we try to pre-process that data and we try to convert that into some numerical representation, which we basically call it as vectors. So probably now some, there are some videos that are going to come. Like currently it is stemming and limitization. In my next video, I'll be explaining about bag of words, uh, TFIDF and everything will be available in the playlist itself. Okay, the link is given in the description. So let us understand what the stemming and limitization mean. This is the Wikipedia definition guys, process of reducing infected words to the word stem. Okay, so uh, stemming is a process wherein we are reducing the infected word to the word stem. What does this mean? Suppose I have some words like history and historical. And if I try to apply stemming, this will get converted to history. Okay, H-I-S-T-O-R-I. -S okay. Now similarly, if I have some words like finally, final, finalized, it is going to get reduced to the word stem. Understand what is the word stem over here? Fina, 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 right? So this is going to get reduced and we are actually getting this particular word itself, fina. There are also some use cases like uh, if I consider going, go, goes, gone. If I try to convert this by using stemming, this is going to get converted into go, okay? Now, why, why, why do we require stemming? Okay, we'll, we'll come to limitization, but just understand why do we require stemming? Guys, understand in NLP, most of the use cases that you have seen, uh, there's use cases like sentiment analysis, there are use cases like determining spam classifier, there are use cases like to understand uh, restaurant reviews and provide some ratings. You know, in that particular use case, the most important things in, in, in that particular words or the comments that people are actually putting, the most important things are basically the word stem words okay the stem the word stem which is the base word right that is pretty much important by just having that particular word we will be able to determine whether that word is positive or negative okay so that is what is stemming now what what does lemmatization do lemmatization also does the same thing but it converts that word and whatever word we are getting it is a meaningful word basically understood by human being you know, it is a it is a meaningful word. In this particular situation, you can see history and historical get converted into history. H I S T U R I. This will not make sense, right? What is this particular word all about, right? Similarly, if I say finally, final, and finalized, I'm getting fina, F I N A. But where I have, if I apply lemmatization here, I'm actually getting final, right? And this all is possible by using a library which is called as NLTK. And in the future upcoming lessons, I'll also be coming with spacey libraries, which is pretty much amazing. You know, uh, spacey library is also a very good library with respect to NLP work that is natural language processing, right? But if I take this example of going, goes and gone for all these three words, both stemming and limitization also works similar, you know? So for some of the words, stemming may not give you a proper representation, may not give you a meaning, rep meaningful representation. You know, the human being will not be able to understand. Whereas lemmatization is focused on giving a representation which is quite more meaningful. Now, understand the basic difference between stemming and lemmatization. The first uh, you know, difference is basically, lemmatization when it is converting or when it is giving another form of the word, it may, it, it will definitely have some meaning. Whereas over here in stemming, the word representation will not have any meaning. You know, some of the word representation will not have any meaning. Okay. The second difference is that lemmatization takes usually a lot of time because to come to a meaningful word, it usually takes time. It has to do that processing. It needs to understand each and everything inside that particular word. Whereas in stemming, it does not take that much time because it's just trying to find out the base word. Right. Now, the third difference is that what all kind of applications we can use lemmatization and stemming. If I go to stemming guys, some of the application are sentiment classifier, you know, positive negative sentiment analysis, Gmail spam classifier. You know, so these all these all things can be used in stemming because understand we just need to find out the base word. Okay, we we not represent the word in a proper sentence. You know, a proper meaning should not be there in the word. We are just trying to find out the base word. We are we have those data in our training data set. 
and then we'll be able to determine the sentiment analysis where is lemmatization used lemmatization can be used in chatbots it can be used in question answer application because the response that a human gets from those application is meaningful right so we need to have that meaningful representation right so i hope you have understood about stemming and lemmatization my next video will be with respect to bag of words how we can actually implement bag of words you know with the help of NLTK library that whole working I'll be showing you how it works uh, I'll be taking a very good example and what all things are computed in bag of words I'll be showing in this particular board itself so yes this was all about this particular video I hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed I'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye